This is where Kendrielle Bry's funeral services will be held. Her family is still making arrangements right now. We're talking to her uncle tonight who's telling us about the vivacious eight-year-old who died in her east side home on Sunday. Mom is, is coping. Um, we're still absolutely all devastated, of course. Dewars White is the brother of Kendra L. Bry's mom. Kendra was a was an awesome child. She was brilliant. She was smart. Um, she had a lot of energy. That's what the family is holding on to. It's the memories that keep us going. White and Kendra L. were close. They liked playing the card game Uno together. I said, well, how do you know how to play Uno? She says, I'm an expert. <laughs> so she's very, you know, her, word, her words were very very broad. Now the family is left trying to figure out how to move forward after what happened. When it comes to this incident, it was an accident. That's what neighbors told us too, but police are still trying to put it all together. They want to talk to 40-year-old Kendall Bry, Kendriel's dad. When it comes to her father, we're embracing him. They want him to turn himself in. And if he hears us, Kendall, we love you. You know we embrace you. Um, we want you back here with us. No one has spoken to him, but I believe deep within my heart that he will turn himself in. Bry has previous felony convictions, but Pastor Kenneth Sullivan Jr. wants to help him turn himself in safely. I know you're afraid and shaken and don't know what to think. Pastor Sullivan says he's willing to take Bry in to police himself. They have been able to offer and extend to me the assurance that the safe surrender would be just that safe. And he has a message to other parents. And I believe this is an accident, but just for parents to really be careful with firearms and their weapons around their children and their homes. Reporting from the east side, Graham Hunter, RTV6. And Kendrell's family is hosting a public prayer vigil outside her home on Culver Street Saturday afternoon. They want her classmates to come participate in a balloon release.